Hey there, I'm Dr. Angie, and I have a growling pug on my lap right now because someone's walking outside. In this video, I'm gonna answer pet parents' questions about feline hyperesthesia. Is it safe to use <laughs> black seed oil? <laughs> it's the story of my life. If I don't shoot this now, it's never gonna happen. Black seed oil and how to know if your dog's harness fits right and if they can wear it all the time. So let's get started. So Jan was wondering if I've had experience treating hyperesthesia. And yes, Jan, I do have experience treating hyperesthesia. Um, and for those of you who don't know what hyperesthesia is, it's when kitties um, feel like either something's biting them or scratching them. They have some kind of sensation that's really unpleasant that causes them to either attack themselves or people or cats or dogs around them. Um, it's extremely distressing and it seems to come in episodes. We don't know what causes it and therefore we don't really know how to treat it. Um, some veterinarians use um, drugs like Prozac or gabapentin, um, but really we don't know what we're doing. Um, I've used acupuncture and Chinese medicine successfully for some cases and unsuccessfully for others. Um, what's been successful recently is HempRx using CBD to help these guys. It's really cut down um, the number of episodes and the severity of episodes for a lot of kitties. Not all, but a lot. I think um, because we don't know what's causing it, we don't really know how to treat it, and that's why um, for some kitties treatment works and for other kitties it does not. Molly writes, is a harness something that is comfortable for my dog to wear all the time, like a collar, or should we just stick to walks or just stick to having it on during walks? Um, my answer is I would probably only wear them during walks. Um, I use a harness for my dog and not only does it get kind of gross, but I think it would be kind of itchy if we had it on all the time. And when you're thinking about a harness for your dog, you just want to make sure that it's not um, impeding shoulder movement. A lot of these no pull harnesses I see um, change the way that the shoulder joint glides. And I wonder over time, or at least in growing dogs, how that affects the shoulder joint. So I tend to like the, um, the harnesses that are um, broad um, around the chest. And Vince writes, what do you think about adding black seed oil to my dog's diet to treat arthritis? I don't use black seed oil in my own practice. So when I got your question, I looked up the research we have on black seed oil. And we do have some research to support black seed oil's use. However, at this time, I don't have any research to tell me. It's so embarrassing. Um, I'm just gonna point him the other way. He can't look out the window. Um, uh, so we don't have any research to let me know what a toxic dose is um, for dogs and cats. My, I imagine um, because it's an oil that it would have to be pretty high, but I don't know that. And so for that reason, I don't recommend using it yet. I can't recommend using it yet until we get some more studies, at least some toxicity studies um, or studies specific uh, to dogs and cats. If you have questions you'd like me to answer, you can email me at Angie at boulderholisticvet.com. Thanks for hanging out with me and my pug, and I will see you next week.